Hi everyone, welcome to Lipos Compass. Thank you for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Cancer for the second half of September. We're gonna pull several messages, see what comes through, what you need to know, what's happening for you. Do keep in mind, Cancer, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. So stick around, let's see what's going on. Cancer, if you find this reading helpful to you, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all your support. Let's see what's going on. Oh, wow. We have appreciation. Door to personal healing and happiness. Victory. Look at that. And we have Western rejuvenation in reverse. Interesting. Okay, okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on here. We have this energy of appreciation. I feel like you have achieved something. There is this energy here of achievement and being very much grateful for where you are right now. We have the hermit energy here. Queen of Wands. Four of Wands. And the tower is coming out. Hmm. And the fool. There is a new beginning for you, Cancer. There is something happening here that uh, um, is a new beginning. Um, there could be some sudden changes with this tower energy here. There could be definitely some sudden changes here that you're going through. And it almost gives me this energy here that um, you will be appreciative for what's to come. It almost feels to me like whatever is um, changing here, whatever is falling apart, the foundation that wasn't strong enough, once it does fall apart and you start your new journey, you will appreciate for the things that have changed. I do feel um, that uh, there is this energy of, of you being grateful that things actually did fall apart. It almost kind of gives you a new perspective on your situation here. You could be dealing with a Virgo, definitely very strong energy of a Virgo here. Also a fire sign is standing out strongly. You could have been dealing with somebody where you felt like you had some sort of foundation. You could have been even in a marriage with this person here. But it is, wasn't strong enough. With the tower here, there could be some shake-up here. There could be a breakup. I do feel that energy here. And you are set on a new journey here. I feel like the time will come when you will appreciate that things worked out the way they did. That's the energy that is coming out here. The door to personal healing and happiness. Beautiful energy there for you. It gives me a vibe of... Ten of Cups there. Let's go ahead and pull a few tarot cards on it. Nine of Swords. Ace of Cups. The Death. Nine of Cups and Ace of Wands. Wow. Very strong energy of a new beginning. And we have Ace of Cups with Nine of Cups, which is giving you Ten of Cups, your wish fulfillment when it comes to romantic love life. The door to personal happiness and healing. That's exactly what's opening up for you here. I feel like uh, you've been through a rain here. With this Nine of Swords, this is an energy of a wounded warrior. I feel like you went through a lot of challenging situations in your romantic love life, but you came out of stronger out of this. You came out stronger after that tower that fell apart but I feel like, yes, there is definitely an energy of being wounded by what happened in the past, but yet you overcame those challenges here. And look what's coming up for you. Ace of Cups, a new love, a new love that is going to be your complete wish fulfillment here. Nine of Cups. You have Ten of Cups here all together. That's abundance in romantic love life. That is that door to personal healing and happiness that is opening up for you. You are healing as a wounded warrior here. You are healing from whatever happened in the past. And you're coming up to that beautiful happiness and family happiness here. I feel like a lot of you want to have a long-term relationship, a steady relationship with a partner that you can spend a life with and this is what's coming up for you very strong energy of a Scorpio you could definitely be connecting with a Scorpio in either way I do feel that there is a lot of passion between you two there is a lot of 
physical attraction and there's a lot of feelings just so so much love between you two very beautiful connection passionate loving caring there's everything you want in here and i do feel that this is a complete rebirth in your romantic love life this door that is opening up for you this is opening up uh, you to a whole new chapter of your life beautiful beautiful new beginning look at that we have a victory for you here let's go ahead and find out what is this is King of Cups, victory in love. King of Cups is also you, Cancer. This is your representation. It's a water sign. Could be your energy very strongly. Oh my gosh, look at that. We have Knight of Cups and King of Cups. And I've been calling this Knight a King. And the King of Cups came out. Four of Cups. Cups, Cups, Cups. Emotions, love. Two of Cups. Oh my gosh. And the world. Wow. A new cycle in romantic love life. This is what's happening for you. A victory, a total victory in your romantic love life. That energy of wounded warrior, that energy of uh, things breaking up here, breaking down in your romantic love life, it's behind you here in the second half of September. There is so much focus on love here in your life. Knight of Cups, King of Cups, Four of Cups, Two of Cups, and the World. Feelings, emotions, love, that's what's coming up for you. A complete new cycle, a victory in your romantic love life. You're finally finding a person that is your divine counterpart. Two of Cups, this is your divine counterpart. This is your partner for life here. I feel that for a lot of you here. With that world, again, I do feel very strong energy of a Scorpio. You could be connecting with a Scorpio here. Um, this definitely could be a water sign, like I said, a Scorpio, somebody who has a lot of feelings, somebody who's very caring, somebody who's very open with their emotions, somebody who's very much emotionally uh, mature here. And yes, they're coming towards you and you will have a victory with this person, a victory in romantic love life. That's what's coming up for you. Let's go ahead and see what is this rest and rejuvenation in reverse for you, Cancer. Let's find out what is this about. What's going on here? Why do we have this here? High Priestess is coming out. Interesting. You could be dealing in some way with the Pisces here. Oh, look at that energy. Uh -huh. Empress Judgment. And a chariot. This is you. Look at that. Okay. So what I feel is there is a conflict going on. There is a conflict. There is an argument. This is why the rest and rejuvenation is in reverse. I don't. I feel like there is this energy of a lack of peace in some sort of situation here. Could be definitely dealing with the Pisces here. But uh, the seven of wands. There is arguments. There are fights. There is uh, yelling, deceit going on here. Definitely not rest and not rejuvenation. With the devil energy here, somebody is trying to do something that is uh, dishonest. Something Somebody is trying to possibly put a mask um, and pretend to be somebody else uh, than they are here. Uh, very much of a karmic energy, a toxic energy coming out from this person here. But what, it, what the advice is here is for you to stay above that. You are an empress. This is the energy you are inviting here. You are somebody who is very much attractive and you are attracting all kinds of energy stored with you. I can tell that. But you are very much wise and you know how to distinguish these energies from something that is positive for you. Judgment and a chariot. You will be the winner here. You will be the winner. Judgment is the energy of a winning, of a victory, of a fair decisions being made, celebrations. And the chariot is a victory. And it's also your representation in Major Arcana. You will be the winner here. Whatever arguments you're going through, whatever fights you're going through here, stay above it. Don't, don't, don't Pull, put yourself down to the level of the other people. Um, there's people who are, like I said, who are trying to do something deceiving, something, something conniving here. Don't get to their level. Stay above. The victory is clearly yours here. Very clear energy of you being the victor here. This is what I see. That's why the rest and rejuvenation is in reverse. Going through some sort of conflict. But yes, you will 
rise above it and you will win over it. Okay, let's go ahead and see what else is happening for my Cancer Light here. Tarot, what's going on for Cancer? Seven of Cups is coming out for you. Um, options, but I get a little bit of indecisiveness in that for you. Let's find out what is this all about. Ah, look at all these cups energies around you, Cancer, in this uh, second half of September. So much cups energy. King of Swords. Oh my gosh, and two of cups is coming out. Interesting. Ten of Wands. And the Empress is coming out here again. Wow. What I see here, there's definitely love is on your mind. Love is on your mind. You're thinking about love. You want love. You could be a little bit bored where you are right now, a little bit dissatisfied if you are in a connection. Or if you're single, I do feel that for a lot of you, you are single right now. You're looking for love. You might be a little bit indecisive. I feel like there could be some uh, a situation here where you are attached to some person. Then it's not a very happy relationship. It's a burdensome connection here. But yet it is in a way somehow comfortable. And I do feel that energy of attachment here. You are kind of decided, deciding here. Do you want to stay in this sort of relationship or in this situation where you are, even if you are single right now, but yet comfortable? Or do you want to go for something new here? You're making decisions here. Two of Cups is very much present for you. You are meant to be in a divine union and it is coming out for you. But it's up to you to look around, turn away from the spilled cups, whatever happened in the past here, and see this beautiful abundant love offer that is coming your way. Because it is coming. With this Empress energy here, I do feel that you are, again, you're attracting a lot of options. We've seen this before for you. And I do feel that this energy is very, very, very strong. Somehow, Cancer, this time you're attracting a lot of people towards you. And yes, you will have more than one choice here. But I feel like most of those choices is just not something that interests you. You feel a little bit kind of almost disappointed with the choices that you have. Do know that you have to detach from something where you are right now. This could be a detachment from a physical place and just move somewhere else. This could be a detaching from a union that you are right now because you're almost kind of blocking your energy by staying in that union here. You have to cut some people out of your life. You have to cut some sort of circumstances out of your life here Drop the burdens and move towards the circumstances, towards the energy that will put you and open you up to the divine connection. Because it is here for you. I do see it here for you. This is what's going on. All right, Cancer. Let's go ahead and pull you some coffee cup oracle cards. Let's see what else is happening. What else needs to come out for my Cancers? What's going on for Cancer? Loyalty and determination. Ooh. Some of you cancers will get a very good advice from somebody you know for a while, somebody who's elderly here. This could be a, definitely a family member. I do get that this person has always been supportive and has always been on your side. And you will get some very good advice from them. That's the energy that is coming through. This person is um, somebody who uh, has a lot of experience and they're quite wise. And like I said, they always kind of had your back. You're going to get very good advice. Control and change, stability and growth and direction in a journey. Yeah, I feel it's time for you to change your circumstances. It's time for you, Cancer, to possibly even um, move somewhere else or drop your roots somewhere else. For some of you, there is a um, definitely uh, a new direction that you're changing. You're changing your, uh, your direction in life. I feel like you're going for new connections. I feel like you're changing the people that you surround yourself with. And you're kind of dropping your roots somewhere else. This is the energy I'm getting here. I feel like you're taking control of your own life as well. You could be definitely detaching from the people that are um, not not lo no longer meant to be on your path here. And you're going on a completely new journey. This is what I see for you, Cancer. I truly hope this reading was helpful to you. And thank you for being here. I appreciate all you watching the readings. And uh, if you feel comfortable, please comment as well. Let me know what you think. Thank you for being here. Bye for now.